Hey. Hey. We're drinking rosé because we're watching The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Hey. 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 It says with bubbles on the can. In <laughs> case there was any. <laughs> Contains sulfites. All right. Well, that's... <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Today on Postmortem, I am joined by two guests, boss ass bitch Kelsey Rispin. That's uh, she's, not like she'd be that. And Kimmy Krenzer, lesbian. Ladies. <laughs> what? <laughs> this whole time, I know! <laughs> Kimmy, what are we watching today? The Exorcism of Emily Rose. And Kelsey, why? Fix it to get a feared. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna need like nine more of these to get through this. Yeah. Yeah. Demons, um, demons and ghosts scare me a lot, and I want to be scared a bunch. And anything scares her. <laughs> and Kate digs this movie. I do. It is my favorite Exorcist film. Favorite? Yeah. Like it's really scary. Like it's really good. Okay. I saw this in the theaters when I was too young to see this in the theaters, um, and I don't remember anything else from this movie. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I was very young. Uh, the Exorcism of Emily Rose is a 2005 film directed by Scott Derrickson. It is based on true events. Oh yeah. Google that later. I'm very excited to watch it anytime I watch it. Watch it all the time, lots of times in the year. Watch it a bunch. Oh, sh 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 guys! No, I'm sorry. I just remembered. There's um, there's there's on you on YouTube. There's audio from her actual exorcism. Absolutely not. Oh God! No. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Well, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye forever. Enjoy the film. <laughs> we'll miss you. So. What I care about is telling Emily Rose's story. Holy Church venerates thee as her guardian and protector. To thee, the, the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray therefore the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet. Do you understand how long they can put you away for this? I want people to hear what only I can tell. And what is that? What really happened to Emily and why. <gasps> so she believed that her actual possession began that night at the hospital? I think she did. Emily had epilepsy. Father Moore's beliefs are based on superstition. Did Father Moore ask you to give her any medical help? I couldn't help her. Why couldn't you help her? Because there are no injections against the devil. Emily? Hey. Demons exist whether you believe in them or not. <gasps> Just be careful, Earth. There are forces surrounding this trial. Emily, can you hear me? Bubbles again. We just watched The Exorcism of Emily Rose, and we got some things to say. Ooh, I wrote a note here that said immediately, this was a mistake. They start off the movie with her screaming. Which, you said, I think that's nature. <laughs> do you know how sometimes they do that? With like, they're like, coyotes attacking each other. Yeah, yeah or yeah, like, that whatever. That sounds like babies. Yeah, or like whatever weird animal they have in Britain. Your first note. 
Oh, wait. Oh. A lot about wanting to sleep with Laura Linney. Mm, Laura Linney. Laura Linney, we love you. Laura Linney? <laughs> Cheers to you, Laura Linney. And Cheers to fucking Laura Linney. I just right think now. she's sexy. 2025, Laura Linney, call me, please. <laughs> please, I will still be sexy. I hope she watches this. Oh. I really do. I believe in you. Yeah. Dumping we'll the see. purse out on this show. <laughs> I have a note here that says cool ass frame. <laughs> I didn't hyphenate it, so it could be cool, cool ass, hey, that's a cool ass frame, or like, that's a cool ass frame. Can you say hyphenate one more time? Hyphenate? I also followed that up with sexy ass drink. <laughs> oh, no, because she ordered a Tanqueray Mark she did. Margatini. Dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, ladies, well, Tanqueray Margatini, one way ticket into these pants. <laughs> My second note is because, comma, Satan. Oh yeah, that was like a common phrase we used throughout this film that was like really well timed every yeah. time. I feel like Satan's not gonna apologize, so we should. My fourth note is, hey, let's all whisper. That didn't land as funny as I thought it was gonna. For the first like quarter of this movie, until Jennifer Carpenter, AKA Deb, starts being like, <laughs> everyone's talking in a fucking, <laughs> the lowest decibel able to be recorded by man. <laughs> I have one that says, fuck you, cat, because the cat was our first jump scare. And then my next note was, a lot of cats live here. <laughs> a, a view into my future. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I, real quick, the first interaction that Laura Linney has with her boss, she's like, Carl, hey, why do I feel like Laura Linney has said Carl like 45 times? In love, actually. Carl is her love interest. Oh my god. And so god. they're constantly talking about Carl. All I'm thinking about right now is that Laura Linney was topless in that film. So. When? Oh yeah. yeah. Wait, all the way? She hooks up with Carl. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just saw it in my head. Shut everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. No, uh-uh. Shut no, up. No, fuck you. Shut no, up, move on. Who up. cares? I have a second note. This is a mistake. It's at the bottom. I was very scared. What was? Oh, watching the film? Yes! Yeah. I was very, very scared. <sighs> Lawyer guy tracked down hot doctor. Oh. You thought that doctor was hot? <laughs> the hot doctor, though? Wait, hang on. What's her name? Anybody? Dr. Adani. That hot doctor. Thank there you. it is. Um, her, the timbre of her voice. Such a cool voice. <laughs> I wonder if I could... Um, I have a, I have a pretty pressing question about, um, I guess about, I have a pretty pressing question about how people behave when presented with things that are potentially like soul rocking and, and they shake you to their foundation. Put yourself in Aaron's shoes, right? And you're questioning everything that you've ever known. How do you keep your hair that tight? Do you imagine her hair was that tight the whole time? The actual lawyer? Probably not. Okay, well then Hollywood did a disservice. Someone tell Hollywood immediately. Hello, Hollywood? <laughs> your hair department's too good. <laughs> so there's a car. Okay, no. So, mm -mm. What's his name, Jason, the boyfriend? So after the whole scene where like he he wakes up to this nonsense of her being mm -hmm. nuts, and... <laughs> yes. You're overselling it, Emily. I'm so sorry for your loss. Shit, she's real. No, she's okay. so dead. Okay, so when he wakes up and he finds her all contortioned on the floor, and um, then has to drive her back home. He's like, I drove her home that night. I'm sorry, what was that car ride like? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, hang on. Please take the curve slower and motion thick. <laughs> I just wanna know that she made it out, okay. <laughs> I have a theory about this movie that, um, I feel like it's like a tricky lifetime Jesus movie. Stay with me. Because yes, it is scary, but like, the frame of it, oh, good frame! That's what that meant! It's like, it's less of a scary, like, ugh, like thriller, horror, I don't know what the genre it technically would be. Um, <clears throat> it made it one of, less of one of those, more of like a... Horror drama. Yeah, or like, truth is out there, God is real, type 
movie. Mm-hmm. You know what but I mean? so is Satan. I, I see where you're coming from. I, that's why I like this film, frankly, is that it's not just a straight up, like, here's a per- like here's the chronological order of a person being possessed. I like that it yeah. kind of makes you question, like, did she just have epilepsy and stuff? And, like, I think it's interesting that when they flash back and show you things you've seen, but with her doing, like, different things, and you're like, oh, oh. Yeah, don't get me wrong. The scenes with the demons are horrific, and I'm just like, that. Who's James Van Hopper? Okay, so um, we there was, you know, the clock stop start. Let's take a minute to just like really like, like cheers to Jennifer Carpenter because she acts the absolute crap out of that role. Like she, there's no part of her that's yeah. like holding back. There's a lot of that that could have gone wrong. And she just, oh, yeah. it's just eerie. Like it just clings to you. All that, the things that, that she does, she just commits to it. And it's just really impressive. To quote Kate, she went balls deep in that role. Yeah. She, she did. Whoo! Overall reactions to the film? Can we oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would be more scared, I think, which is also why I allowed myself to fall asleep. Um, at a couple different points in the film. Because <laughs> I'm a very sleepy human. I feel that I was alarmed a lot of the time. But the fact that it's like based on a true story is like, ooh, <laughs> no. <laughs> do you think it'll scare you later? Like, do you think you'll like think about it a bunch and like later tonight you'll be like, mm. probably yeah when 3 a.m. hits. Oh shit. Yeah. Thoughts? You've seen it before, but a while ago. Yeah, a long time ago. I remember almost none of that. Like, for instance, I remembered nothing about the court case. <laughs> that one specific scene in the dorm room where she's like, that. God, that was offensive. Please cut that. The letter she wrote that's like, I was visited by the Virgin Mary and she gave me a choice and I chose to stay. That sort of makes me feel slightly less scared because one can extrapolate that like, she's in heaven now and it's fine. It's a lot, it's real. But I did want to be a feared and I am, I am a feared. So mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, it's very real. Thanks for watching (laughs) this review of The Exorcism of Emily Rose. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. It's mine's gone. It's been yeah, exercised. I should have. I should have. We have all exercised. We should have done something stronger. We've all exercised. We can crush them on our foreheads. Rose. Wait, you got it. You gotta start it off a little bit. That's how the cheaters do it. That's how you like make it. Oh, this is gonna. I'm gonna regret this so hard. I couldn't do it on my head. I couldn't either. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna be so bad. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy sleeping tonight. Uh, Rob Thomas is Lord Voldemort. <laughs> You're gonna need to explain that joke. I kind of don't remember.